Welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to add multi-factor authentication to increase the security of your AWS account. Let's log into AWS and click on My Security Credentials under your account name. Then, click on Multi-Factor Authentication MFA and activate MFA. Here, there are three choices. I think it's better to go about all these choices in brief to have a better rationale about appropriate selection choices. In AWS, you can assign MFA to a user account in three ways. The first one is a virtual MFA device. The next one is using U2F, or a universal two-factor security key. And the third one is using a hardware MFA device. The first one is a virtual MFA device. It's easy to set up. You can install Authenticator apps, such as Google Authenticator, 1Password, or Microsoft Authenticator on your mobile device and use the generated code plus your AWS account's password to log in. A virtual MFA device may not be the right choice if you need solid security. Now let's briefly look at the other option, which is universal two-factor MFA. So U2F is a shorter form of universal two-factor. Authenticator apps are safer than two-factor authentication via SMS. But Authenticator apps are not as secure as using U2F. U2F is a type of MFA device. Once you enable it using the following instructions, you just tap it on the device when prompted to log in securely. Tapping helps make sure some human is logging, not a robot. It is based on RSA, which as you might know is public-private key cryptography, but the concept is very cool. U2F device key and the hardware of the computer are used to generate keys. If someone gets your U2F device, they can't use it to log into your site, as nothing is stored on the U2F device. However, they can use that device to log into sites, but not on your site. The only drawback is that if you lose your device, you need to have a backup system to log into. The last option to use MFA in AWS is a hardware MFA device. The concept is very similar to Secure ID if you have used it. You register the device and then, when prompted, enter the token generated on the device. I will not go into detail as this is beyond the scope of this lecture. Now you have the idea of all three options. As you can see, the first one is relatively less secure than the other two. But the first one is quick and easy to set up. Install any MFA authenticator app on your mobile or computer, and you are ready to use MFA as a virtual device. I will click here to continue. Next. What I will do, since I already have Google Authenticator installed, is scan the code. Let me scan the code. First, I have to click on Show QR Code. Then, let me scan the code. Since I already have Google Authenticator installed, I can scan the code. OK, the code is scanned. Now, here it asks about entering two consecutive MFA codes. Let me add two consecutive codes here. OK. Now I'll click on the Sign MFA, which says that you have successfully assigned virtual MFA. What has happened is MFA has been added to my root account. Now, since MFA is assigned to my AWS account, my account is relatively much more secure than just having a password 